All right, hey everybody out there, welcome to the stream. We are super excited to be here for the Georgia High School Association Rocket League State Championship Finals. I'm Coach Coop, and with me is none other than Coach Williams. Super excited to have you here, Coach. How's it going? Uh, it's going really great. I uh, had the day off today, <laughs> um, so uh, broadcasting from home and uh, happy to be here and provide this opportunity for these students. Yeah, what better way to spend your Friday than watching some of the best Rocket League that Georgia has to offer, especially in the high school scene. I would even argue that these are some of the best Rocket League players across all curriculums and collegiate. I mean, these kids are unbelievably talented. Uh, who are we talking about, though? We're talking about Pickens and Dog Dynasty, uh, two powerhouse teams in Georgia eSports. They are here to settle a little bit of a score from the past, uh, and it's going to be incredibly fun to watch. You, however, have actually competed this season in Georgia High School Rocket League. So uh, I, I'm actually a little bit curious from your own experiences this last season, what you think uh, we might be in store for today. Uh, well, Harlem has a measly champ team. Um, <laughs> and so oh, just we, champs. yes, we entered playoffs as the number 17 seed. Um, and so just by that alone, you know, there are some high level competition going on at the top um we we got out of the second round but there was there was no hope of making it past teams like dog and pickens yeah these teams are unreal we've got grand champs across the board uh kids eking at ssl and have been ssl in the past so i mean top tier right like champ champ is unbelievable but we're talking six grand champs and a, and, and a former SSL on the pitch today. So this is, I mean, this is going to be unbelievable. I, I, I saw Dog Dynasty play against Brookwood earlier this week to get to this point, and they're just so unbelievably fast. I haven't had a chance to watch Pickens yet, but I'm excited to see just how they go toe-to-toe -to -toe since both teams have just kind of like walked through the season and made it here. Yeah, we're talking about the top 0.5% of players um, in terms of rank, and they're all in these two teams. Um, and I saw Pickens personally in a tournament we hosted in March, uh, completely bulldozed that tournament, and um, they just they just play well as a team, which you don't find uh, in a lot of teams, especially since esports is pretty new, and when kids game at home, it's it's kind of a, a solo queue grind. But right. these kids, these really kids really communicate, and they know how to play as a team. And you're going to see that today. There's going to be a lot of passes. Uh, there's going to be a lot of rotations. You'll see formations, um, and just some really high, high level play that is almost too fast to keep up with. <laughs> it's unbelievably fast to watch. It's super fun to cast because you're basically just an auctioneer, just like ripping off and riffing on what's happening. And there's so few mistakes that they do as well. So it's it's just fun to watch because it's so clean. Uh, I know that in that in that Dog Dynasty Brookwood game, we started to see the demo action coming out uh, in those uh, second and third and fourth games of that series. And it's not just these accidental demos because everyone's just crowding in front of the goal. These are just tactical demos. Um, but, but these kids can do it all. They can get off the wall. They can get they can get amazing kickoffs. And of course, if they're if you're causing trouble, they'll just speed right into you and take you off the pitch for a little bit. Um, so I mean, it's amazing to, see, to hear Pickens took that uh, the Bulldog open. So they are, you know, they're not, uh, they're not afraid of high-level competition. Recently, I mean, I know they've got some uh, championships under their belt in the past. They, they have been, a, you know, they haven't been able to catch one in about a year or so. So they are looking for one. But Dog Dynasty is also looking for another. So they're coming here to defend, right? Like they're here to defend a state championship from fall, uh, and it's, it's kind of fitting that it's up against Pickens. Yeah, if you look at the history between these two teams, uh, Pickens started out strong with Georgia Esports, winning the first two seasons uh, of Rocket League play. Um, and then the season right after that in fall 2019, um, well, sorry, fall 2019 was the second season. Right. Uh, these two teams met in the semifinal. Actually, no, they met in the final, and Pickens took it over Dog. Um, then they met the next fall in 2020. They met in the semifinals. Dog Dynasty won, and they let Matt, they met last season and fall 2021 and dogs took that too and then went on to win the championship so pickens we have two titles dog has one um one of them is going to add another and submit themselves as a dynasty of georgia esports yeah it's it's really it, it, they have so much history in georgia esports 
they have so much history together, but then they also have so much history on the teams themselves because there's seniors on these teams that have and juniors that have faced each other in probably every single one of these matchups. So from the very first season that Rocket League was in Georgia, these two teams met and players on that team are going to meet again for some of their final games today. And Dog is wanting, you know, change the change the past a little bit and, and cement themselves as this named dynasty. Uh, but these kids have seen each other play, so they know they kind of know what to expect a little bit out there today. And that is going to be interesting. Uh, we, we talk a lot about how game one is this like feeling things out. What's the other team like? I don't really know. Let's see if they're aggressive or they're defensive. But these teams might already know the answer to that. I, I don't know. It's going to be interesting. There's probably a lot of emotions on the line, too, considering this is the last game for a couple, uh, three, I believe, of these players. Um, and and, it, and it's it's a fitting matchup between the two teams for sure, including oh, the yeah. coaches, because it's the same coaches for the last the last several seasons. So they've they've met each other on at the live events multiple times to shake hands and say good job or maybe next time. And so here they are once again to do it uh, in, in today's championship. Yeah, these teams know each other so well. They play each other all the time with the um, with the increase in the number of streams out there. There's more film to watch. Um, and so I could see this going one or two ways. We're going to see a bunch of 0-1 games with overtimes, <laughs> or we're going to be a bunch of 8-7 games with overtimes. I'm just hoping for <laughs> seven games all overtime. Let's get as much Rocket League as we can. Try and, uh, this one out. Maybe a couple of barn burners. Yeah, it's going to be extremely fun uh and and let's talk about some of these players on the teams right so we talked about how they have some history playing uh with each other as teams who who do you think is going to shine today because we've got some freshmen who are playing with seniors at the top tier in in our great state of georgia's esports but who do you really think is going to be putting up some numbers today yeah speaking of freshmen you got you got bon hobo from Pickens, who's a freshman as a gc1 that is ridiculous um, and he's going to be a force for years to come. Um, he, but sounds really like got... he sounds like he's foundational on this team, right? They've got two seniors yeah. and a freshman, and this kid's rolling in at GC1. Just like the rest, the, the, the next stage of Pickens is on my shoulders. Yes, for sure. And I don't know if I'll be able to catch up to bring him down. But um, <laughs> uh, a couple of players, you know, you got Aura on Pickens, who's a senior, who's planning to go to Kennesaw and hopefully – um, join their program. Um, he's a GC3, probably pushing SSL. Um, and then we've got DJ from Dog Dynasty, who plans to go to UGA and help kind of jumpstart that esports program. Yep. And we know if UGA has got the resources to pour behind it, that could be huge. Um, and he could be a pioneering founding member of what's going to go on there. Um, and so we've got some players who are going to go on to do some big things. Um, and those are just two examples, one from each team. Um, just from watching that Brookwood game on uh, Wednesday, uh, I thought the most impressive person or player on dogs was actually Buddy. I was so thinking Buddy the same R thing. Buddy RV was <laughs> everywhere. So uh, look out for him today. And he's the um, junior. He's the junior. So he's yes. coming in. He and, and and Calicoa and DJ are seniors. And so that team is. You know, both of these teams are losing two players. Uh, now we've got some that are that are going to stick on. Um, Bond from Pickens is going to be sticking around for, for much longer than Buddy, but Buddy is so strong. And like you said, in that game against Brookwood, Buddy was everywhere. Kid can play defense, offense, he can be in the air, he can he can demo you. So that's that's awesome for them. Uh, they do have a freshman and in, in waiting in the wings as a sub, so it's not like their program is, you know, is going to be searching. But they've got, what's kind of nice is having Buddy as a junior will be able to kind of you know, hopefully stand up and be that, look, I've been in some state championships. I've been on the big stage uh, and helped carry that team as a GC3. So there's no reason why they shouldn't be hitting SSL by next season. None at all. And it, you look at his last season stats and he was pushing SSL already. So um, both these teams are in great shape for the future. Um, it's just, can they bring up the talent from from the middle school, whoever's coming up or whoever has been on the fringes in the in the bench slots, can they step up? and keep this run going. Yeah, and I mean, both, both these teams, the, the coaching staff, you know, they have really poured a lot into these programs to help create such powerful programs. Uh, and I know so Forsyth County, as just a county, uh, is, has done a lot to progress esports there. So it's, 
I'm excited to see them play today. I'm excited to see some farewells and some send offs. It's going to be a little emotional, but I'm excited to see where these, where these teams go next. Um, so we talked about buddy, buddy, the junior looks pretty awesome. I think we should expect to see some pretty awesome stuff out of DJ that SSL last season. Uh, but just because of the ranks being kind of reset recently is just a mere GC three right now. Um, I, I, I'm expecting to see some more, some more, uh, tricks possibly in the air that Brookwood game was kind of reserved it was super tactical um, there wasn't necessarily a lot of flash but I'm curious with such high skill levels here if they're going to need to do something a little more interesting to kind of get through the talent that's on the pitch have you seen in some of that game film that, that these two teams are able to kind of pull off some of these, you know, more uh, daring feats, these flip resets, or or what do you think in your history? Are they just, they're just so good, tactical, and clean? I mean, I think what you're going to see is a lot of, what separates these teams from others is when they go up and try for those flip resets, those ceiling shots, mm -hmm. um, there's really not a challenge because the other team is just sitting there in awe, like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, this is amazing um, to watch. I'm so happy yeah. to just watch this skill. <laughs> and, I mean, I, like we said before, these teams have played so much. They know it's going to happen. I feel like there's going to be a lot of 50-50s and there's going to be a lot of contested shots. And so I think we're going to see the real magic is how can these players play together and yeah. how, can they, how can they string together passes to get those quick goals um, those r quick redirects um, that none of us see coming, but once we see it, we're like, wow, how did you do that? <laughs> Indeed. And I just saw some players loading in on the sidebar. So uh, you know, if you haven't logged into Rocket League in the last couple days, there's a couple of little visual bugs. We'll hope to get past them as we can, but I am curious as to when we might get started. So we're going to just go ahead and sit on this beautiful screen watching the pitch. Um but yeah, I think you're right. I think in the past, potentially, these other teams just haven't been able to challenge that kind of that kind of play, and I'm excited to see if they're going to need that kind of play to get past uh, either team. Now, you mentioned very early on at the beginning of this the passing, and that was so fun to watch in the Brookwood game, uh, and I'm sure Pickens was doing that as well, um, and it, that's one of the most really i don't know difficult i will say at my mere level of rocket league to pull off is these coordinated passing plays where they just know exactly where their their uh their teammates gonna be and to just get it right there in front of the in front of the net bam knock it in so that is gonna be something i'm watching for in both of these teams is those beautiful setups because like you said these are two teams they play together uh and they play as 3v3 there's not really a solo queue on this pitch yeah, you're totally right. And to have the the skill to once the your teammate passes the ball to adjust to it midair um, is just unreal, and requires thousands of hours of play <laughs> to get down. Yeah, and and they do it so well. Um, and then you also see how they can, you know, if they need to take a breakaway, they need to dribble that ball in. They can. And so I don't doubt that we'll see this. I know in looking through these. Uh, players they're not just great at threes they're not just great at twos several of them are incredibly high at gc level in ones as well so they know how to do it all just in case they need to get past everybody by themselves they can or if they need to deke or triple deke out the defense the goalies they can uh, so I, i'm just expecting to see not only unbelievably fast rocket league but just really talented uh, skill level out there so we're here if you're just joining us. Thanks for, for watching. This is the Georgia High School uh, Association. This is eSports in Georgia at the high school level, varsity level state championship matchup between Pickens Dragons and Dog Dynasty. Uh, <laughs> yes, actually, uh, I saw what looked like a flying V formation in a previous game in this playoffs, which was really fun to watch as well. Um, but yeah, you know, you got to throw out the, uh, you got to gotta age myself with the uh, Mighty Ducks references here. So uh, thanks for being in the chat. We're super excited to see you. And if you're watching live from University of West Georgia, uh, give us something in the chat to tell us how it's going on site, which is super awesome that this is actually hosted live as well. It's pretty cool. Yeah, we, we, we didn't, haven't mentioned that yet, that these teams are actually <laughs> facing each other in person. Indeed. So you talk about, you talk about that emotional... Uh, that emotional charge, just being in the same room, looking at your opponent face to face, um, just brings in a whole nother level of intensity that you just don't get week to week. 
Indeed, and look at that. The screen is lighting up with all the colors. Super excited to get this thing rolling and going as the first game of our championships begins. This is Georgia Rocket League at its finest. Welcome to eSports, everybody. Uh, here we go, Bon Hobo up in the air, sending this one down. It's going to be caught by Buddy RV, but here comes Buddy. Ooh, nice under right there. Sending this one off, and of course, Dog Dynasty on orange sends one up. Oh, Aura sending one nicely Great down. Block. Oh, and a pass by Zoto, and it's going to go in. Oh. Zoto gets our first goal from the Pickens Dragons. Looks like a replay. A nice just, uh, little dunk coming in there with a little bit of a bounce. Yeah, it's so, a weird bounce off the crossbar there. Pretty aggressive early on. Both of these teams really gunning for it. Our next kickoff is going to go heading off into Pickens territory. Buddy RV up off the wall. Zoto's going to block this one, bring it back down. A nice little challenge, but it's going to get past. The ball slows down. It comes back into Pickens territory. Hobo sitting this one deep, but it's blocked by Calico. Calico is going to keep the drive up. He's going to get this one right past Aura, curling around, but it's blocked again by Zoto. But the shot is just on target, but Aura is on target as well. Oh, but a zinger comes in from T DJ to settle the score 1-1. Yeah, you see Aura, well, Hobo tries to knock it off the wall, but it ends up being crossed straight to DJ with an open net. And there's some of that passing play, seeing them trying to get into the corners to get these crosses off. Uh, but that defense is just on point. Ooh, Aura getting a little bit of a scoop, but it puts it right into the front of DJ's Finnick. They're going to take this one straight towards, and nobody's able to block that until the last second. Calico in the perfect spot for a little 50-50. Ooh, with a nice little dribble popped up, but it's blocked by Aura. Great defense coming out from this Pickens Dragons. Even though it's 1-1, they have been really able to stop a lot of these shots coming in from Dog Dynasty. Up in the air, we see Calico dropping this one down. A nice little bounce off the pass. Buddy RV there brings it up. up. Ooh, Zoto sending this one down. So kind of like what we talked about, super fast. <laughs> these cars are all over the place, and the passing is on point. So you were talking right, about you see, I hoping for some to really good yeah. plays and really good games, and I have no reason to expect that we're going to get a lot of great action in this series. Aura sending this one down, but there's nobody there to pass to. Calico is able to block and is going to send it all the way into Dog Dynasty territory. Oh, a misplay by Bon Hobo, and that's going to send this one up to the side. Calico looking to pass this one to a teammate. Is anyone in the middle of the key? They are, but once again, Aura comes in and blocks. I've seen so many blocks off of the backboard by Aura and Zodo. I don't know how Dog Dynasty is going to be able to get anything in. <laughs> I mean, they're just yeah, it's going to take those. Defense. Oh, he's really going to take those quick passing plays to get by that. Yeah, I'm, there's just so many shots on goal. They're really trying to set up these crosses and get it straight into the middle, but. It, it, both teams just seem to be doing such a good job with their boost control that they're still able to to get these blocks off without being starved. Our first demo of the game, Buddy takes out Bond, and that might open something up. The ball is stalled in the corner. We've got a double commit going in from Dog Dynasty. Sending this one right down. Aura on the defensive play, sending this one nice into center field. It's picked up by Zoto. It's going to be a zinger, but it's too high. Calico brings it down, but Aura is there. Can Bon Hobo come in? Nice pass off the sidewall. Sends this one straight into DJ's car. I think I'm watching 4v4 Rocket League, Brad. <laughs> I don't know how they're <laughs> in two places at once. That's unbelievable. Bon's going to send this one off the side. Bringing it down is DJ. Challenged by Zoto in the air. Yeah, 50-50 aerial. is a dangerous play to pick, but Buddy makes it happen. Aura. Ooh, a bounce missed by Aura. Unprecedented oh, at this. We call that faking? Yeah, a tactical whiff. Oh, uh, open net. <laughs> open net from DJ. Oh, Barely the double misses. Tap. Unbelievable. Such skill, but not able to get there. A little too fast. Slightly open net. Dog Dynasty's trying to get another goal in here before the minute mark. But he's going to send oh, this one straight into block. Zoto. They just can't make it through that defense. Zoto with the... Well, DJ with the queer? Everybody's getting every clear and every shot. The, the the tactical play here, the ability of these players to be in the right spot at the right time. And honestly, a lot of that comes down to their ability to do some these amazing rotations. Everybody is where they anticipate the offense going. And it's just been amazing to watch. That happen oh, as a shot wow. comes in from Zoto. Pickens is going to be up by one at the one minute mark. That's huge. 
Not sure what happened there to leave that net so open. Uh, Calico getting caught out of position, rolling backwards in reverse in the corner. Oof. Our one minute mark triggers. The ball comes down and DJ is here to pick this one up, try to bring it down. But once again, that pick and oh, a nice aerial demo. Buddy takes out Zoto. Maybe that'll open some things up for them. 45 seconds to go. Buddy, Buddy with the shot wall. right off the side, and it sets up a roller oh. all the way to the other side, and oh. Bond is going to get two up. Un Oof. Unlucky yeah, that bounce. Yeah, when you have two cars on the corner like that, it really uh, leaves the back end open. Yeah, that and was say just... How many times that killed my team this year? <laughs> Yeah, just a nice, uh, not enough power on a clear, and someone just happens to be there to send one just slinging all the way back, and it just slowly rolls in as Pickens is going to go up by two with 30 seconds to go. Oh, but a shot comes oh, in, and Calico wow. is going to do a nice little double touch off the side. That's going to bring us back yeah. to within one. Not I don't know what? if we're going to get to your seven to eight that you were hoping for. but <laughs> Hey, three, three two is good enough for me. That was a little miss hit by Hobo and right to Calico. Quality play coming in here, and, and they're not giving up even though they're down by, they were down by two. They know that in Rocket League, the uh, the, the power and the score can path. change anytime. All you gotta do is break through that defense. Huge demo from Calico on Aura. But Hobo is gonna send this one back. DJ is gonna block this shot. With 10 seconds remaining, we'll see if they can make anything happen here. So it looks like Pickens is setting up to get an early win in this series. As Buddy is curling around, can they get this one up? The cross is there. The pass is perfect to DJ. It's going up into the corner. It's off the back wall. Buddy's going to drop this one down. And Pickens Ooh. is going to take game one. Ooh-wee. Man. <laughs> that is how you play Rocket League. <laughs> Unbelievable play coming from both of these teams as Pickens is able to get game one. Wow, and that's got to do. That's got to do a lot for Pickens' confidence going forward. Oh, huge confidence boost. I mean, I mean, both these teams are unbelievably talented, but you know, <laughs> this is Rocket League. Yes, uh, both these teams are good, but Dog Dynasty is coming here to defend a title, and Pickens is coming to pick up a third. So both these teams have a lot on the line here as Game Two kicks off. What? Is, do, Thinking about now as we get into game two, Brad, like having seen how both teams kind of responded in that first matchup, do you think there's anything that you might see a little bit differently uh, in this one? It almost seems a little bit slower, actually, <laughs> as we get started. Yeah, I think what what got uh, Dog Dynasty was they had too many, they just had too many people up and were leaving the back end sort of open. And so you may see a little bit more intentional rotation. Uh, they got Buddy at the midfield here. Um, and it may be, it may just be a little slower as they try to clean up and crisp up these these passing and progression plays. As we see, Buddy put it in the corner. Oh, and welcome, uh, Or's mom's in the chat. What's up? It's always good to have parental support. So super glad to see you there. Uh, and we're excited to see how Aura does today as well, as all these kids are really rocking. And I think you're right. Oh. It's a ooh, Buddy is there on defense to help stop that play. But maybe that first game, you know, the, the nerves are up. It's game one. Everything's much faster. Um, and maybe things are a little bit slowed down. They've had some time to breathe and think as they get into this one. So um, we talked about some of these players early on, maybe watching Buddy Shine or uh, DJ Shine. But I really think we saw a lot coming out of, of everybody in that first game. And no one is really taking the cake and shining. So it's really nice to see this team play coming out as Buddy RV sends up from the side. Nice little cross. It's going to be a pass. Pinched back. Calico is there to defend. Zoto sends one up into the center. DJ picks this one off of that drive. Aura there. Hello from your sister from chat. Oh, and Aura's grandpa is here too. So welcome to the Aura family. Whole Glad family. to have you. Very exciting. Zoto up in the air now, bringing this one down. It's out of boost, stopped. though. Out of boost. So that boost starve is real. Bond is here now to drop this Man. one down. Coming you in saw Bond well. already know where that was going to go off the wall. Yeah, the ability of them to read the angles is, is just unbelievable. Uh, Zoto versus DJ sends this one into the corner looking for a cross. It's a bad stop right there as Aura knocks out Calico in 
the air on a little bit of a 1v1 comes Bond, but it's blocked even though they had the sweet, sweet Aura dribble skills. Wall. Nope. Aura bringing this one down. Nice little up in the air, trying to get a little bit of a layup to Bond. Zodo's going to try and get this one back into the action. Calico is going to clear. Looks like Dog Dynasty's on a little bit of a drive here. Two and a half minutes in and still 0-0 zero, zero on the board. No one's able to crack that defense like they were in game one. <laughs> Love having all this family in the chat. Thank you so much for joining, of course. And everybody watching at you. Ooh, ooh, got so excited. <laughs> WG. Uh, we're super excited to be here as well. Buddy, Buddy's Cam coming in, trying to get some defense going. Oh, and now they're in a great position to drive, picking up that 100 boost pad. Let's see if that's going to help them out. Buddy RV with a nice cross. Nobody's there. They're not there. Oh, Everybody's wow. there. Wow. Almost got them in. Almost got that ball in on their own. A, oh. oh, Buddy dropping it down from the ceiling, but it's blocked by Zoto. Aura now with a huge Some great pass. saves this game. Yeah, no kidding. They're able to get back into that goal just the right time to stop these drives. DJ bringing this one down. for Buddy. Oh, and it's going to be a timely demo by Calico to set up a huge offensive play. Off the wall. DJ down to Buddy. Oh, no. You love to see it taking out the goalie. Play of the game right there. That was huge. Unbelievable. Calico. Aura in the right place. Yeah, Dog Dynasty now up by one. See if they can hold this lead as we eat towards the last minute. Calico bringing a nice little pass over to Buddy, but it's challenged at unbelievable speed by Aura. But DJ's going to send this one sailing all the way back. Picking up their own pass. DJ tries to dunk. Calico's now up. Two <laughs> defenders. Three straight saves. Unbelievable. Two defenders in the goal, able to stop that one. Bond sends this one down the side. Buddy's there to trap it, brings it over. Zalto tries to trap it as well, and nobody can get past this defense. Buddy's taking it. Buddy's trying. Himself. We've seen a lot of aerials. We've seen ground game now. Oh, almost open. That was there. Very Bond. close. Yeah, that was incredibly close. Just need someone in DJ the top. DJ centering. Of so 30 seconds left. The speed has been there. Uh, we've seen some really, really nice demos coming in as part of the play. We talked a little bit about that at the beginning, before the stream, that that might come out. But the, I think I think at this point, both these teams are going to have to just focus on demoing these goalies. Yeah, they, I mean, you saw Dog Dynasty do that to perfection on that on their goal. Yeah, as we set up a slow little Dangerous bounce ball here. Zotto. Not a good clear. DJ is going to take this one up. And as the 0-0s zero hit, this ball stops the timer with Dog Dynasty. Taking out game two. Yeah, I think what we're seeing is a, a very even match between two equally skilled teams. <laughs> yes. Yeah, un unbelievable skill matched. Uh, I mean, we talked about this. There's, there's SSL level play. There's GC3s. Um, the passing, you can see the historical play that these teams have, that they've played together for years, for seasons. They've seen each other on the pitch in some of the highest caliper games. Um, and they just know where their teammate is. And more importantly, they know where the other team is going to be for some of these amazing defensive tries. I mean, you mentioned it too. Like, how did they read that angle? They knew exactly where that ball was going to be. So we're just watching the highest tier uh, as we head into game three. And another note about that previous game is uh, Dog Dynasty had nine shots on goal, only to Pickens two. Oh, so Pickens really getting shut down in the shots department. But that also shows to show that Dog Dynasty, nine shots, and they're only able to get one through that defense. So yeah, they, Zotto himself had five saves alone. So, <laughs> so okay, so we talked about the, the tactical demo. If you take out Zotto, then potentially you have a chance to get the ball in the goal. They're, shoot, they're scoring at almost 10% that last game. So they're going to have to just step it up on both sides to try and eat, you know get something past these really, really close games. Ooh, a little bit of a pass to Calico off the side. Wow, oh, DJ oh. in the center to kind of clean that up as well. Calico now going back on defense. DJ clearing this one over to the side. It's going to be a pass, but it's going to be picked up by Bond. Bond's going to send this one to DJ onto the side. And Buddy is here to pick this one up as well. It's Dangerous dropping ball. down right into the middle of the goal. Oh. But it's off the top. 
far, and it's not going to go in. So close for Pickens to try to get an early lead. Demo by yep. DJ on Aura. Is that going to be enough to set something up? It's not, as Auto sends one sailing all the way across off the side wall. Buddy RV up in the air, Straight sends this Aura. one to the side to Aura. Aura is now dropping down. The ball is dead, but Aura picks up that 100 boost to go back on defense. Back and forth, we're watching volleyball meets Rocket League. <laughs> meets oh. ping pong. Buddy with a save. Huge save by Buddy. It's auto up in the air. Oh, a nice little the tap, redirect. but Buddy comes around again. <laughs> so that Buddy is coming online. We talked about how in previous games they've been on the attack and great on defense. So two minutes down in this one, still 0-0, just like the last game. I think we're seeing Pickens more on the offensive this game. With a little redirect by Hobo, Zato comes in. Now we got Aura trying to make something happen with the cross over Hobo's head. And they're just able to read these drives and get repositioned back into the defensive play. Able to stop these. Nice little bump. But RV is going to get stopped by Aura. They're not afraid of the 50 50 but either as net. the ball just goes rolling in as Aura gets a cross map goal here off a. Of, I just said they're not afraid for the 50 50s, but that might have wow. been a bad call. Is that one's just going to go sailing on the huge pinch all the way in. That's you got to hate when you pinch up. it right towards goal. <laughs> it's rough, yeah. You think you're Pickens on offense, the offense immediately again. you just see, nope. You can't get back there nearly that fast. We're completely forward on offense. Ball drops down. Bon Hobo is going to be there. Put a little bit of a shot on goal, but no one's there to follow up. Trying to clear this is Dog Dynasty. Off the side is Aura going in reverse, using the spoiler. Nice little half flip to get back into the action. Great center. Wonderful pass play. He's going to set this one up for DJ. Huge DJ play. DJ going for the goal. Oh. But somehow all three Pickens Dragons have teleport abilities to get there and park the bus yeah. and stop this thing. Yeah, Secret City with the third man call out. You got to be ready to go back, even on those 100 mile an hour bench. <laughs> Shot somehow you got to get there. Calico flying in, huge sidewall pass to the center. No one's there. Calico picking up their own pass. DJ's gonna send this one oh. rocking, sailing in to tie it up. Yeah, Pickens is playing kind of backwards there. Finally, flat, finally, flat -footed. finally able to break through two defenders for Pickens. And we're seeing sometimes tactically if you can just keep hammering shots. You can break down the defense. You can boost Starve. You can make it to where they can't defend. But the problem is, is both of these teams are able to clear and turn any save into a drive. So that they just kind of got a little bit, I, w I won't say lucky, but it was just timely that they were able to finally get a little bit of a centering to set that one up for DJ to be in the right perfect spot. Uh, that second and third position to be able to clean that one up. DJ off the ceiling. Oh, nice little pickup coming in from Calico. But open net. just like this, open net. And that's going to be Bond coming in to pick that one up as DJ is not able to get there. Secret City telling the players to stay back a little bit. Get that third man. Nice little play. Nice pickup by Bond. And wait for communicate for Zotto to not get in the way. Yeah, the rotations on these fast games, you get a little bit of a miscommunication and someone's not in position, just as Kent mentions in chat. Good looking out. Got to get those rota rotations on point to be in that spot. And they've been doing so good for all of these games. Uh, it just takes one little mess up and that ball is going straight in. Pickens up by one That's with 50 seconds left, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Too much traffic, but Calico is able to get through. They just couldn't get enough on it to clear it. Oh, that soft touch of the wheels by Buddy to bring this one back down. That was huge. Unbelievable play. So we talked about, you talked about wanting to see this thing go all the way, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think we could <laughs> see that happen. <laughs> uh, that's oh. going to be a lot of fatigue. What a save. Players. So, yeah, huge save. So I'm excited to see the more these games go back and forth, um, how these players are able to maintain that that competitive play. Because right now they are they're not letting up. 
they are able to respond in kind to every single thing that happens on the pitch here as Bond gets a nice little stop here. It's 15 seconds left, 2-2. We might be hitting our first overtime. Ball goes to Calico, drops it right down. Beautiful yes. pass by DJ, and that's going to be off the top bar. And a huge demo from DJ, DJ to open up the net. Unfortunately for Dog Dynasty, there's no one there to clean that up. But the oh, a rough defensive play is going to put oh, the ball straight no. in the goal as Aura picks it up for the family in the chat to see them shut down this game three. That was unbelievably oh. huge. DJ has to be kicking himself. Oh, wow. That is so, so, so timely and brutal happening right there. Massive pickup. Put that ball straight. I mean, just a beautiful play. Man, that's one of those moments where I wish I was there to see see the reaction to that. Yeah, that was massive. Massive. Nice little drive, too, with just a few seconds left. They knew they had to keep it up in the air and along the wall as they bring it down and just stall it right there in the front of the goal for that pickup, for that second, third position to come zooming in and just barrel that ball down. Yeah, I think we're, we're mostly seeing a bunch of goals when, for some reason, um, when they're trying to clear, they just don't get a good hit on it and it just settles. We see DJ coming off the wall here. <laughs> I think uh, a little bit, you know, they rubbed a little bit wrong way in that last game saying, no, 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 it's cool. We, we, we know how to put points on the board. Don't worry. <laughs> DJ coming in very quick, 12 seconds in to get something on line here. And that's like, you know, you talked about this in the first couple of games. Those early points just build so much confidence. Uh, it really puts the other team on, on their game immediately. And coming in, 12 seconds in saying we're already up uh, it kind of changes the mindset for for both teams but now dog can kind of kind of not relax a little bit here but they can you know they've got a, a little bit of a cushion yeah for sure when you have the lead in a, a situation like this um, you don't you don't have to play aggressive um, you can just settle in and focus on the fundamentals of rotating um, just slow playing passing and we're kind of seeing that a little bit right now. Yeah, nice little pass all the way to a deep buddy. Oh, just flying Ooh, through the middle there. of Calico's trying to get a huge second goal off for today. But that was a nice little deep DJ pass. With the seal. DJ coming down, bringing this one down. Defense now for Pickens, trying to get a clear here. Uh, DJ here to stop, bring this one down, try to set something up. Ooh, try to get the flip on Zotto, but that's not going to do it. Instead, he's going to bring it right back down in front of the goal as Bonhobo is going to try and get one in. A little bit of a pass to Aura. Aura right, sends one in the top Ooh. corner. Blocked by both the top bar and Caligo together. Huge shot attempt there. So uh, I feel like we're seeing a lot of some of this kind of retry, stay, stay there for the second and third shot attempts. So both teams are trying to maybe using that rotation to be setting up for the rebound goal. Calico sending this one deep over to Buddy. They've, they've tried that pass so many times, and it's it's working pretty well. They send one from back to the corner and from the corner back into the top of the key, but a unfortunate miss. Buddy's going to have to pick this one up all the way in the back. DJ full boost coming in. Pass it to Aura. Chooses not to challenge. Oh, but Aura's there to challenge. DJ caught a little bit flat-footed. Buddy seeing this one sailing all the way back. Bon Hobo's there to pick up the defense. Misses. Misses. Can't clear. Buddy Sends it the to the center. Is anyone there to pick it up? DJ is here again, but the challenge is met. The ball comes down into the corner. It's a huge pass, but there's Calico. Aura and Calico in the corner, challenging for boost. Zotto now. Dog Dynasty is on the defense. Sending this one sailing. They're able to get these huge deep field clears uh, that are almost too fast for them to get into position to do something on offense. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to bring this one down. Such great car control. Able to not just smash this ball across the field. DJ now on defense. Bond up in the air. Misses. Oh, miss. Unprecedented Zana with a miss. Ross. Aura. Oh! DJ and Buddy both on defense able to stop this. So we're back to this back and forth kind of style. Uh, Dog Dynasty got that goal very early on, but nothing has really happened since then. 
it's been incredibly even matched. I'd uh, be so curious to see if what time of possession or side of the pitch would be because it feels incredibly even. Is there any anything that you're noticing? Who's who's kind of standing out and, and shining uh, right now? Who's who's keeping dog at this 1-0, do you think? I don't know. I've seen a lot from the freshman hobo this game, to be honest. Um, some great clears. Uh, he When he goes up for the aerial, he doesn't miss. Um, so... I think if anybody's going to come through for, and there he is again, for pickings, it'll probably be him this game. God, time to shine as he's trying to set down the foundations for this this team in the future. One minute left. Ball's kind of stalls in the middle of the field. DJ's up for it. Bon is there as well. Ball comes down thanks to our pickings defense. Sends it all the way to the back. Calico setting one up on the side. Ball is not cleared by Aura. That's going to open up the shot by Buddy, there and it's it going to be Beautifully tapped in to bring a two-goal deficit on the board for Pickens. That was such good control. Look at this thing. Up in the air, a little bit of a twist. And just Man, the slightest just little tap off that front bumper. Just read it perfectly off the ceiling. That was so nice. And that's the kind of security goal you want. As they're down in this series. Uh, by aura. Just one. No big deal. A double tap. Kenzato. Oh up. my yes. goodness, it doesn't matter what the score is. <laughs> Great individual play by Aura here. Yeah, nice little drop. Good control up in the air. Brings it right down where it needs to be. And look at that. Bond is right there. Perfect spot. Top of the key. Just in case there's a deflection, able to get another shot on goal. So that was a huge positioning play by Pickens. But he's going to pick this one up off a slow drive from Zotto. It was there for the 50. Four 15 50. seconds left. We'll see. Pickens taking a little bit of a drive here. A nice pinch defense from DJ. <laughs> Calico picking up that boost. Oba redirects. Ball is going to be stopped Zotto. on Zotto, but it's going to be oh. a zinger. It's into the buddy's bumper. DJ is going to try and get this one cleared as far as they can. Zotto picks it up. 0-0-0 zero, zero, zero on the stopwatch. Ball is not dead yet. That's going to do it. Oh. Dog Dynasty ties this one up. If I'm not mistaken, we're just going back and forth. <laughs> That's exactly what it seems like. <laughs> Buddy with a great save there to save the game. And if you look at this leaderboard, it's just pretty much even across the board. Yeah, look at all those. Goals, 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 I mean, assists, yeah, they saves. Everyone's getting saves. The difference in scores is actually who scored the goal. <laughs> oh, we've got more family in the chat. Calico. We got grandparents watching. Hey Always good to see the family in the chat. Thanks for being here. Glad to be able to bring you what I would say is the best Rocket League in Georgia right now. Both right now at 3.39 p.m. and right now, period. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah, we might be going to match point. Oh, huge demo off the bat. DJ takes out Aura. Obo's there. DJ, DJ centers challenged. it. Nice centering. But just like we've seen plenty of times before, if that ball isn't just in the goal, it's going to be blocked. Buddy off the ceiling. Very nicely done. Looking for that redirect rebound oh my gosh. defense. <laughs> to follow that ball in the air. Oh my goodness. And then block it. Knowing exactly where it might be. Oh, my goodness. We just finally saw it. The reset. Our first reset from Bond. Trying to get something spicy going, and it almost works. I think He's that's a little a bit freshman. of a confidence boost. A little bit of confidence boost. Or his sisters in the chat, too. So I, I think we just saw a trial. I think Bond's been Aura off the wall. Getting the, ting the tingling from the oh, fingers for with these the trick shots. Zotto's going to make it. Aura down. with the awesome bump there above goal. Look at this. Good Aura pass takes out Zotto. Calico. Oh, huge bump coming in, just like you said. Massive play. It's not all about getting the ball in the goal. It's about getting the players out of the goal on defense. So you don't just need a demo. Sometimes it just takes a little bump tap. Calico. Oh, missed by Zotto there. Yeah, huge. Unfortunate miss. We'll see missed if that by plays Aura. out. Zotto passed to themselves. A little bit of wall ball going on here, but that's going to be picked up in the corner by Buddy. Buddy up for it with Bon Hobo. Bon Hobo is going to be passed off the top wall. Comes down. Zotto's there on defense, but it's a little bit too slow in the clear. A Zotto very, very soft touch. 
DJ is going to be able to stop this. That was really close. Dog Dynasty almost getting one on board. Or getting out of the way of a demo there as DJ sends one off to the side and it's going to be cleared by Bond. <laughs> so big setup play there. As we got, ooh, double commit in the corner for Dog Dynasty. Good thing they're on defense, but that's unlike them. Excuse me. Not good there on defense. Pardon me. Zotto now challenged by Buddy. Bond now challenging. Calico ooh, and DJ. A little friendly in the side. He's gonna try and clear this one. Bond sends it to the side. Dropping down. Two minutes into this one. Early goals. Goal by Pickens. Dangerous we'll see if they can uh, kind of repeat what we saw in the last game. See if they can hold on to this one. Ooh, big oh, demo great from demo. DJ. And that's gonna put Zotto passing a Straight into the center. Calico sending this one down to the side. Is there anyone to pick up this pass? A double commit on defense from Pickens, but they're able to get the clear. So oh, great flying. redirect. DJ, maybe they've been reading the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you got to stay a little bit back, and they were able to read that one from afar. Huge crossing clear from DJ. Can Zotto get this one? He sure can. Bora taking out Calico, and now they're going to set this one up for a soft float. But they send the layup down. Aura putting this one into a nice position. DJ sends this one sailing, but it's going to be blocked by Bon Hobo. Bon Hobo now on the drive. Demoed by DJ. That sets Calico up for a little bit of a drive with a huge oh, shot on goal, but it's going to be blocked. Oh, just off of the respawn, too. Oof. Can they get it out? Oh, there we go. Oh, but the shots just keep coming from this Dog Dynasty oh. team, and that's going to do it for Buddy. He's going to get one through. How many shots was that? I don't know. One? Just one. I think there was at least one or two before that, too. It's relentless onslaught. Tie this one up. Game 5 OT is the call from the chat. We'll see if it happens. Up in the air goes Calico off the back wall, trying to pass it to no one's DJ, there. but DJ's a little too far forward to we catch got, that we one. We got numbers up for Pickens. Jay sitting this one down. Zotto's there. Zotto, Zotto. Calico bringing this one up. Passed by Buddy, sending this one back down. Ooh, a nice little drive happening here. Aura's off the back wall trying to catch this one, but we've got all of the dynasties on the right-hand side of the pitch trying to stop this defensive drive and turn it into something else. Buddy up in the air. Nice little redirect. Brings it down. Is anyone there? DJ's there for their own pass. Here comes Calico. Calico. Look at that positioning. Just sails up and down. Oof. Yeah, again with uh, not being able to, to knock it out of there. Huge pickup and huge play. <laughs> Tons of traffic on that kickoff. Dog Dynasty feet. taking one up with one to go. Oh, shot Bunny on goal. Bond. Sorry, I thought Bond didn't move. <laughs> I'm, I, these, these kids are probably completely calm, and I'm the one freaking out over here watching this game. Oh, shot on oh, goal. going to be there. <laughs> Buddy taking it back. Double tap. Oh, the reset. Trying to make something happen. We've seen some action happening from these kind of these dunks, these layups, bringing these, these balls off the top and off the back to bring them into the center. Oh, with a long bench. shot. It's going to be blocked by Buddy, but it's just off the top corner as well. We've seen a lot of these cross-map plays. Big demo coming in from Buddy on onto Buddy. Aura comes down. Shot coming in a little bit shallow off to the left, but Calico's there to bring this Calico one down. Aura in. is going to try to defend. Buddy's up for it as well. Ten seconds to go. Dog's trying to keep this one in their favor, but the onslaught is coming from Pickens, and they're going to try and get something on the board. We've seen these last-minute goals before. Oh. But it's not going to happen as Dog takes another. Oof. If I'm not mistaken, was that back-to-backs for Dog? Do we finally not ping-pong? I think so. Oh, maybe a little bit of a shift in the momentum. Huge Again, win. <laughs> Game score pretty even for everybody. And once again, a lot of saves coming in. Good job, Bond, with those saves. But Dog is going to be able to take that one. Dog Dynasty on match point.
for this championship. Oof. Everything is, all of a sudden, up to this point, has just been, let's just win a game. <laughs> but now it's, oh, we could win this one. Yeah, so the nerves are times 10 right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, everything, and, and there's just, I mean. For both teams. Oh, yeah, everything is on the line for both of these teams. Pickens got to make, make a stand right here in this potential last game. Dog Dynasty is going to try and close this one out because, you know, after six games, you only get a minute between these things at best. Oh, a nice little float in from Buddy, but if the defense is too strong as Pickens is not letting that goal go through just yet. They're not done quite yet. But yeah, this this is you know Dog Dynasty is trying to, to to do a repeat here. Uh, everything's on this game for them. Great redirect by Bond there. DJ is picking this one up, sending it down. A little bit bad angle up. from the wall. A nice little pass to Buddy up in the air comes Zotto to bring this one down. Buddy kind of changes direction, sends this one into the corner. Zotto is trying to get a clear, but they're not able to get a good angle. Now they're just floating in the nether sphere. And no Calico boost. picks this one up, and it's, it's just going to be put in by Buddy. Woo. Unfortunate. I, I wonder if they were out of boost, if Zotto was out of boost and couldn't get down in time. Oh, yeah, he had zero. Oh, he was, no. just, he was just caught out. Floating stuck in zero G. Calico, huge being able to pick up that opportunity there to bring this one down. And a great pass to make it happen as well. So with that, dogs got it. They're itching at the doorstep. 3.45 to go. A nice little stop by Buddy. But that redirect is going to happen. And oh, just kidding. DJ sends this one sailing. Aura oh, is going to block though. this. DJ with a follow up. I'll tell you, they. Do you know when to cut rotations and keep the pressure on? And it is something to watch. Uh, the rest of the team is able to just whoop, change direction as well and be there when they need to be. DJ up in the air. Ooh, picked up by Buddy. Nice little steal of the own teammate to get that power shot coming in. Oh, or, with a bump. Pickens on the wall now on the defense. Oh, but this one could be huge. Bonds going to stay back a little bit as Zotto sets up for a nice little pass to be in the front. Not enough power. All three Dog Dynasty players are there to try and stop this one. They do not want Pickens to get anything on the board. Three minutes left. It's huge. Who's standing out now? <laughs> I, I think our early it's predictions kind of hard, on... It's hard to say. I know. Buddy's been doing great for Dog Dynasty. We've seen so much from Aura. Bon. Uh, all these players are really making something happen here. It's anyone's game to either tie this one up and take it a little bit further or to just shut this thing out. Halfway through, Bond brings it down. DJ is going to be challenged up in the air by Aura. Dog Dynasty is going to clear this one and go back on the offense. Bringing up that 100 boost pad comes Otto. Bringing it down, trying to change momentum. But no, says uh, Dog Dynasty. But they are being put on their... Uh, they're being put to the test on this one. Dog Dynasty would love to get another goal to kind of really help them secure this match point game, but Pickens isn't letting up at all. We see Aura come in, but the miss. The ball just stalls there, but all three Dog Dynasty defenders are there to make sure the wall is in place. Relentless onslaught here from Pickens, though. Really trying to hammer this one through. Ooh, as Otto stops that drive, comes back around. Tries to get a nice little pass, sends it to the center, but it's picked up by Calico. Or is a little bit caught backwards. He's going to try and clear this one with only a minute and a half to go. <laughs> Both these Gosh. teams are great at Rocket League. BT Dubs in the chat. Clearly, best two teams in Georgia esports right now for Rocket League. Putting on a great show for everyone as we just hit that minute and 20 mark. We are so close here. Pickens is looking to make something happen. Nice clear on, by Buddy, position, but it's going to set up a shot. Blocked Great by DJ. save by DJ. Huge save. Bumps coming in by Dog Dynasty trying to get this ball out of there. One minute to go. What, if anything, does Pickens need to do to change to stay alive in this one? I mean, at this point, like you, you kind of keep having to play aggressive. Like just hammer their goal and hope for a miss. Yeah, I mean, with 45 seconds left. Oh, oh. there it's going to be by DJ. Lots of traffic in front of the goal. Just 
Oh, a little bit of a pinch 50-50. Snakes it into the corner. Dog Dynasty's up by two. Match point, 45 seconds to go. Now, that is to say, we've seen some quick goals in very short time. So we'll see what can happen in these 30 seconds to go. Dangerous ball. Trying yeah. to get a challenge by Bond. That could have been huge. Aura sitting back on defense. Bond's going to try and clear. The ball goes a little bit wild towards the pick and skull. DJ's putting this one up. Trying to get that third to really shut this thing down. Aura with a long pass all the way to the side. A little bit too fast for Bond to get there. Buddy RV is sitting here watching DJ bring this one down. Eight seconds left. They just want to get this thing out of here. Buddy RV is going to follow this one all the way to the back. They might be able to get one more on the board, but it looks like that's going to do it. If I'm not mistaken, Brad, we got, some new, it. we got some new champions. Well, actually, no, they're still the champions. Oh, excuse me. We've got champions. <laughs> Congratulations to you for Slice Central Dog Dynasty for repeating in the spring Rocket League GHSA championship. I mean, talk about a game. That was unbelievable. <laughs> Gosh, just so fast-paced. <laughs> the passing was crisp. The redirects in the air, aerials, it's all there. It's all what you want to see in a final. Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it went almost all the way to all the games it could have gone. But it was so incredibly fast. I mean, it's been an hour. <laughs> yes. But it feels like it's been like 10 minutes. It feels like all of that was condensed into one game and just everybody putting out work. So, I mean, huge, huge for Dog. I know they've got two seniors who are going to be leaving this uh, with their heads held very high as, to, as they're able to get back-to-back -back, uh, championship dubs. I bet they're just losing it at University of West Georgia right now. Um, would love to be there, but I'm also super excited to be here because we get to cast it, which is super awesome. Um, so, I mean, that was amazing. Uh, we, we talked about Buddy early as being a potential. We talked about um, all these players really possibly putting out work. Uh, Bond being that freshman. Aura... Uh, being a senior, Zoto being a senior, such chemistry across the seasons for them. Uh, but in the end, uh, Dog Dynasty gets to say truly, Dynasty. Yeah, this is true. And congrats to Coach Lily for uh, putting together, the, together that program, giving those kids that opportunity. And man, what a what a <laughs> heck of a match! Yeah, amazing job. Um, and if, if you are sticking around, we are going to definitely be hitting that Smash tournament. I know we got to get off stream because in like six minutes, the state championship for Smash is coming out. And I believe that's out of Carrollton is going to be helping to cast that one. So um, I'm super thankful to be able to be here from uh, Atlanta, from Georgia, but also as part of GSEF and Coach Rivals. Um, but big thanks to GHSA and Tanya for, for uh, giving us the green light to give these kids the screen time that they totally deserve. Um, so that's me. Coach Williams, of course, I can't not let you uh, rep your program. <laughs> oh, no. You've lost your audio. <laughs> well, I'm sure Coach Williams will come back. If he's not coming back, that's fine. Big thank you to Coach Williams out of Harlem High School in Augusta. If you don't know about it, the Bulldog Open is the place to be. The dates, I believe, are already set up. And uh, Coach, maybe drop those in the chat for anyone who's watching who's excited for next season's play in Rocket League, League of Legends, Smash, and possibly, who knows, maybe they'll bring back another game. Uh, there's a huge Georgia national tournament happening called the Bulldog Open. Uh, take a look at it. But that's going to do it. We're going to switch on over and host the Carrollton stream. So don't go anywhere. Smash is coming up. And huge, huge congrats to Dog Dynasty and great showing by Pickens. Ta-ta.